Hello guys and welcome back to the crazy Minecraft video where today Marco from his zombie has gone ahead and sent us to this awesome village where one of the villagers has gone ahead and made for us a wonderful challenge. He wants us to live in the life of a villager which I think is going to be so fun today but I'm really looking forward to figuring out what all these chests do. So guys let's speak to him and let's go see what he wants us to do. Hello Naveed, I want you to experience what it is like to be a villager for the day. There will be four stages that you must complete different types of missions. Let's get started. Wait a second, are you trying to say that we'll become different stages of villagers? That's going to be so cool. Do you know what? I actually can't wait to get started. So I'm going to go ahead and open this first chest that says get six emeralds. Oh, it just has an iron pickaxe inside. Hopefully that means something. But before they go ahead and morph us into a villager, I do want to give a shout out to Jenny as well as Daniel for being members of this wonderful channel. If you guys want to get a shout out as well, all you got to do is go ahead, press the join button below, and very soon you'll get your very own shout out. As well guys, the villagers have just reminded me that the majority of you aren't subscribed yet, so head down below and press the red subscribe button along with the notifications bell. Okay, villager, I think I'm ready. Let's go ahead and morph into the first stage. Whoops, I think it worked. Wait a second. The first stage is becoming a baby villager. This is insane. Okay, what can we do as a baby villager? We are literally like a third of the size of this villager. It's actually really awesome. But thankfully, we can jump up blocks, which is the same height as us. Which means, once we become an adult, technically you should be able to jump two blocks. So I actually want to go ahead and become the older villagers as we go along. But this first stage is still get six emeralds, which I want to go ahead and start doing. So let's pretty much make our way through. Let's go inside this house and let's go see what they've got. Wait! Oh, I think I've just realized. Because we're taking these emeralds, they probably want us to go ahead and do it sneakily. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to have to dig our way down, and hopefully this golem doesn't see us. So let's break our way through. I'm perfect. And I'm going to have to dig all the way down and pretty much make our way through like this. Let's take the emeralds out. And good. And I don't think they'll ever realize pretty much who's taking it. It's going to be so fun. Perfect. And there we go. Back to normal. <laughs> I don't think anyone's realized. They're pretty much just looking at me as a baby villager and trying to figure out what type of job I'm going to have. But I do look like a blacksmith villager, which I'm guessing is actually our job. So maybe later on we can go ahead and figure out what it's like to be a blacksmith. Well, I did notice there was another chest right inside this house, which if I jump up here, I think it's right in this corner. Let's go ahead, break our way through, and let's do this. Yes, two more emeralds. Okay, this is perfect. Let's go ahead, close this up, and let's start looking around for more chests. Nope, nothing in there. How about if we keep on going inside the village, we might be able to find it. Here we go. Anything? Oh, okay, there is one. But I did notice there was a villager guarding it, so we have to be super careful right now. Is he still looking? Okay, I might have to break through here. And perfect. And take the emerald, quickly, before the golem sees us. I think he got a little bit mad there. Now, the great news is, is that I do think none of the golems have realized. And they're now looking for the perpetrator who's gone ahead and taken those emeralds. And I don't think they've ever realized it's going to be us. Well, I'm still looking to figure out who's the last house that has an emerald in it. So let's keep on looking and hopefully we'll find it. Nope, nothing in here, so there's no need to break anything. And let's just keep on looking around, and hopefully I should be able to find it around here. Anything? Nope, nothing in there. Oh, wait, I think I've seen it. Okay, let's jump up here. Let's go inside this pen without falling through. And let's get the last emerald. Perfect. Okay, <laughs> hopefully we can go ahead and leave this place and become the next stage of a wonderful villager. Okay, let's do this. How do I talk to another villager? Do I just go, hmm, let us be the next stage. Oh, wait, I think I figured it out. If we go ahead and put the six emeralds inside, I think that should work. I think we've just morphed. Yes, we did. Okay, this is perfect. Now we're just slightly bigger than a normal villager. Look, we come up to almost his original height. But sadly, it is about to get dark, so we really have to hurry up. But the next stage is find three rotten flesh. 
Oh, perfect! They've given us a sword! This should go ahead and help us pretty much fight off some zombies. Now, where would zombies spawn by a village? I'm going to have to keep my eyes open. Because they do have loads of golems around here, which is going to make this almost impossible to go ahead and find our own zombies to go ahead and fight. So we've got to be a lot quicker than these guys. But I can see all the villagers are starting to run off and head home, which is completely understandable. But as a teenage villager, I don't think we obey the rules just yet. So we've got to stay alert. Well... Let's go ahead and look for some zombies and hopefully we can actually get three rotten flesh, which should normally be quite easy. Can you guys see anything? So far, it does seem like we're all clear because I don't think it's dark enough yet. I'm going to have to keep my eyes open. The only thing I am worried about is if there's creepers or skeletons that try and kill us off, it's going to be a pretty mental day. Well, let's keep on going. I'm sure there's going to be some around here at any moment. I think I've just figured out what to do. Now, there is a zombie house right by this village, which definitely makes it so much easier to go ahead and find some zombies. So let's go ahead and do this. I think I can hear some from a distance. Wait, I think I found them. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Hopefully, these five zombies should be good enough to go ahead and stop them. Let's keep going. Wow. Okay, they are a lot more powerful than I thought they would be. Let's keep going. Perfect. No! <laughs> These little baby ones are basically the same height as us, and they're a lot harder to go ahead and hurt. Keep going. Perfect. Now, I'm not really sure what happens if we go ahead and die as a villager. Okay, let's keep going. So far, no rotten flesh. Let's keep going. Perfect. And good. Oh, wait, wait. We've got two rotten flesh. Hopefully, this is good enough. Yes, we got three. This is awesome. So let's collect all their bodies and let's go and do this. Hopefully now we should be ready for the next stage of what it's like to be a villager. Okay, I think he didn't realize we'll do this challenge super quick. So let me put these three rotten flesh right inside and let's go and do this. I think we've done it. Now to figure out what the next stage is going to be. Oh, and I think we've just morphed again. Yes, I think we're the same size. <laughs> this is perfect. So we're now an official villager. Villager. So they've gone ahead and given us loads of supplies, which I'm guessing makes a perfect house. Build a basic survival house for yourself. Cool. Do you know what? I'm just going to copy one of these little houses right here, and hopefully that should be good enough. So I'm going to do it right around here, which I think this is going to be a good spot. It's going to be very small, but I do want to copy exactly what this is. So it goes up uh, four blocks, goes across uh, five blocks. And I think that should be everything. Okay, let's do this. So it's uh, one, two, three, four, and five. And then I think it's a perfect square like this. And awesome. And we've got to make sure we don't mess up because they haven't given us any tools in case that does happen. There we go. And perfect. And I'm going to build the whole area a bit like this and good and i am going to add the glass right around here with a ladder going all the way to the top because i do want to copy exactly what the other house looks like so let's keep going i'm going to have to make sure we do this as fast as we can i really don't want to mess up right now i do have a feeling that all the other villages would normally take so long but i want to make sure we make it slightly different to everyone else too okay let's do this there we go and perfect and awesome adding that glass right around here with our front door right in the middle and then covered by oak blocks all the way around there we go and awesome and then we do exactly the same right around here as well by adding oak wood on both sides and good. Come on, we must be so close to finishing right now. And once we do this, we can figure out what the next stage is going to be, which I'm kind of scared actually to figure out what it's going to be. So let's go and do this. What's after a normal villager? I'm a little bit worried that it might be something that we aren't going to want. So let's keep going right around here. And perfect. Doing exactly the same all the way around and then adding some more oak wood. Perfect and good. And let's not forget to go ahead and make the upper area where I'm going to add some fences all the way around. Perfect. And good. Awesome. And there we go. We've almost done it. This is pretty much the most awesome house I've ever built in such a short time. Let's go and have a quick look. <laughs> it pretty much looks like every single other house here. I do got to make sure, though, it does have enough potential. Yep, I do think we've done a good job. It should pretty much be zombie proof now, where I can just go ahead, add some more cobblestones to make it part of the village. There we go. Whoops, <laughs> my bad. Maybe we can use that later. Well, I think we've done it. So I'm going to go ahead and put all these supplies back and let's go figure out what the last stage of being a villager is. It's going to be so fun. Well, let me go ahead and figure out what's inside the last chest that says, Bury old villager corpses. 
Oh, wait a second. So we've got loads of gravestones, loads of villager corpses, and as well, a pile of bones. Wait, we've turned into a black and white villager. We must be dead. Okay, this doesn't look good right now. We actually look super scary. I'm a little bit worried that none of the villagers are going to accept us into their village if we look exactly like this. This is the most worrying picture I've ever seen. Well, I do want to just go ahead and complete this last mission so we can turn back into MC Naveed. So what I'm going to do is go ahead, clear away this whole area, and perfect. And I'm going to add some pile of bones right down below. So we're going to add some bones right in there. And perfect, without placing them outside. And there we go. And then I do want to add some dirt right on top again. Okay, let's do this. So I'm going to add this area and and this area right around here. And let's add the gravestone. Perfect. And let's do exactly the same right down here. So do one, two, three, and four. And let's take out these other bones. And perfect. And we do one and two. We fill this area up. Add the gravestones, and then we pretty much have to put the bodies in some of these. Okay, let's do this. Ugh. Using someone's body to dig away is the most disgusting thing I've ever done. So let's throw one body inside, two bodies inside, three and four, and let's just cover it up by putting some bones inside as well. There we go, and perfect. And I think we've only got one more gravestone to go ahead and do. So I'm just going to pretty much fill this one up with all the items we have. Let's go ahead and try and make sure we don't mess this up right now. So we do uh, one and two, and I'm going to have to get some dirt to cover up the other ones. Perfect. And there we go. And then we do the final gravestone right around there. Well, guys, I think we've done it. I, we do have some bones from some villagers, which I'm just going to leave right there. And let's get out of here. Yes, this is perfect. Villager, have we completed our mission? Are we now able to go ahead and move into our wonderful house that we've just built? Yes, I think we are. This is awesome. Well, I think the villagers have gone ahead and accepted us to move into this wonderful village, which is absolutely awesome. The only thing I've got to do right now is go ahead and find a home that no one lives in that does seem to be pretty close to the village, like this one right here, and hopefully we can move in. Well, guys, I will see you soon with the Crazy Minecraft video, and don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below, buttons red, and don't forget to go ahead and press notifications bell. And guys, I'll see you all soon. Peace out.